Good evening, everybody. So as you know, I've been boondocking in the city here the past couple of days. Uh, actually, almost a week now. Probably about five days. You can see me. I'm parked on the side street down there. I just found this spot by looking at Google's map. Uh, there's a shopping center there. Uh, I'm right on the edge of town. Actually, I'm, I guess you could say kind of in the middle of town. I'm just on the edge of the backside where you start to... The rural area, however you say that word. Anywho, I'm getting off. I'm getting off subject. So on the maps, I seen that street dead in it, but there's a field here and it's gravel road. So I come over here and park to check it out, see where it goes, because it looked like it could be possible camping maybe for one night. But there's a some kind of pond or reservoir here. You see, they got some sound to shut up, no dumping, no swimming, ice skating, no watercraft allowed. So I'm assuming whatever this body of water is, it's not very big. I'm assuming it's it's open for public use. Because, um, you know, it's, it's telling you things that you can't do. So that, to me, tells me there's some stuff that you can do. Probably, you know, fishing or, or maybe just coming back here and hanging out. I don't know. But it look, to me, it looks like a potential boondogging spot for probably one night. I don't think I would, you know, try to stay back here weeks at a time. And I've already walked down to the end. It, it dead ends right down there, kind of a uh, little small turnaround. And, like, uh, I really don't know what it is. Something electrical with a fence around it. I'm not an electrician, so I don't really know. Um, but, anywho, it's very pretty and quiet to be right here in the town. Yeah. Give me just a second. I look like I'm getting a phone call. Hang on, folks. All right, I'm back. I was going to ignore the phone call, but it was one I was kind of waiting on. So anyway, um, yeah. I mean, you can hear traffic noise. I'm, I'm trying to be quiet and listen for a second. You can hear traffic noise, but it's not, you know, deafening. It's not like, you know, blasting right past you. Say you, maybe he's walking down the sidewalk or something. You know, it's not overbearing. Um, I'm probably not going to stay right here tonight, but I'm going to put it on my list of places to stay. Possibly, you know, if I'm in the area. It is quite trashy. I'm, and what I mean by that is, uh, you know, soda bottles and, and cigarette packs and things like that. It's obviously being used and sadly disrespected. I'm surprised they haven't closed it off already. But, um, and a lot of it, you know, like I said, there's a shopping center right here and over there. So a lot of this trash could be, you know, driven by the wind, blown over here. But still, the trash had to end up on the ground somehow. So either way, I mean, you know, what are they doing? It looks like I'm just getting distracted. It looks like they're building something else over here. But anyhow, yeah, I'm going to put this on my list. So. Let me get off here and I'm just going to do a little walking around town here, stretch my legs. As you see, it's getting late. Won't be long. I'll be getting inside and making some supper. All right, folks, I'll be back. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, not much going on today. This is a different day. <clears throat> I've actually done been traveling, done been driving. But anywho, another cloudy, dreary day. Oh, how I miss the sunshine. But this time of year that's this is what happens out here in the I guess you call this central United States it's not really Midwest it's really not the east so central United States I guess I don't know yeah it's always cloudy and dreary and you know it's winter time here so anywho we're not gonna ramble on about that I I'm, I'm, moving, I'm going I'm heading towards my destination but anyway I all my clothes are dirty, so I had to stop. It's behind, you can't see it, but behind me is a laundromat. I'm uh, sitting here doing laundry an hour, waiting on it to, to get done. Don't really have no big plans for today. Um, just probably just going to hang out. I'm going to try to meet up with a friend this afternoon. And they got a real life, you know, they, they got a real job and they get a haircut. So I got to wait for them to get off work and then. I hang out with them for a minute 
after that I don't know maybe well I really don't know I haven't made no plans uh, as far as what I'm gonna do in this area I'm in right now because I'm just here for the holidays so just kind of hanging out taking it day by day anywho I'm gonna sit here and wait on my dirty underwear and then then uh, we'll go find something to do all right so I've left the laundromat come down to this boat ramp super I mean really peaceful right now anyway right here on the river oh wow see right there at the very end sun shining it's been raining all day anywho um, I think I'm gonna hang out here for a while I probably won't stay here tonight because it looks like it gets used a lot what I mean by that is it looks like people come down here and drink party based on the beer cans and stuff, but it's a good place to hang out for today anyway, so let me get set up. I need to fix me some lunch. I'm starving to death, so I'm gonna get set up here, then we'll just we'll just see what happens. Well good morning everybody. Got up this morning, uh boondocked in town. I don't don't even know where I'm at on this video. I just it's been, I think, two days since the last time I, I was on here. But anywho, camped at a Walmart last night. Got up and came to this, um, kind of like a city park. Has a walking trail. It's baseball fields. Um, yeah. They call it an amphitheater. I, I guess they have, like, concerts and stuff here. Uh, not really sure. But anywho, it has a walking trail, so that's what we're doing today. The reason I'm here in this town, because I gotta get some work done to the old camper van. Pretty major work. Um, which I knew it was coming, I was gonna have to do it. I was trying to uh, get everything together and prepare before I put it in the shop. But, you know, things happen, so, anywho, um, I guess this is going to be home for a couple of days, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm distracted, I'm looking around, it's a pretty nice little area here, but anywho, yeah, gotta quit rambling, I, uh, went to stop by the shop today, had an appointment for today, for some reason, I don't know, they didn't really give me a good reason, but, Said they couldn't couldn't get to it today, so just leave it and come back tomorrow. I'm like, well, you know, I can't really leave it. I guess I could, but uh, I told them I just I'm take it with me, then come back the next day tomorrow. Uh, you know, because it's my home. And I didn't want to rent a motel or spend all that extra money when I could just you know drive it away and come back. So that's what I did. Uh, so I came to this park. I got a, a day to kill. So I think I'm going to hang out in this park today. Oh, it's a nice pond. Let's go check this pond out. I'm going to hang out here today. and I'm assuming this park probably closes at, you know, dark or 10 o'clock or whatever. That's how most of them are. And then go find me another spot to boondock for the night. Hopefully I get, get in the shop tomorrow and get all my repairs done. Or at least started anyway. You know, that's kind of the frustrating part about looking for fish that's kind of the frustrating part about you know being full-time your vehicle being your home because when you gotta do repairs and things it's it can be stressful I mean you know, like I said it's your home so that's what I'm dealing with now so it's no big deal you know there's nothing to get excited and mad or upset about it's just it's just part of it it's something you gotta plan for if you're gonna do this it's not always perfect out here on the road, you know. Uh, you know, vehicles, machines, mechanical stuff, they break down. They don't last forever. Even if you do, you know, your routine maintenance, which I usually, I do. I'm pretty, pretty good about keeping up on that. Even when you do that, you're going to still have breakdowns. Uh, 
friend of mine I used to truck with always said, man and machine will never get along. And that's the truth. But anyway, cool little barn over there. That's what we're doing today. So I'm going to get off here and enjoy my walk. And then unless something exciting happens, we'll, we'll come back here this afternoon. All right, guys and gals. Um, I have come to another city park, so to speak. Or walking trail. I don't really know what you would call this. A boat ramp, I guess. It's really what's here. Right on the other side of the trees is a boat ramp. But it has a paved parking area with a paved walking trail. And this one's really nice. It's right on the right on the river. Got this man, I'm gonna call it man-made spillway because to me it looks to be a bunch of concrete. Like it's not really natural rocks. It looks like chunks of concrete. So I'm assuming if you see right here on the left side of the screen. I'm assuming they do that to help direct the water to keep it from eroding the bank on this side because there is a bend in the river right here. But anyway, um, I just been spending the day exploring these city parks and walking paths and whatever. Uh, you know, just I don't want to say killing the day. I don't want to sound like I'm just wasting the day, but just you know, something to do, stuff that I enjoy doing. Free doesn't cost any money. Um, and yeah, I really like it. This town has three really nice parks. To be such a small town, I mean, they're, they're actually pretty nice little parks. Um, the way I find them is I get on, I'm going over to the picnic table, sit down. Give me just a second, please. Drinking my coffee. Oh, I hit my ankle, that hurt. Ouch. Drinking my coffee, but anyway, this park here is out in a country setting. It's actually not right in town. It's probably about a mile. Towns that away, about a mile. So we're out here in the hay fields and cornfields. And the, but back to what I was saying, the way I find these, I just get on Google Maps and um, you know put on uh, what do you call that? You know, you can change the views of the maps from terrain to like where it looks cartoonish to where you get actual real photos or real, you know, what it really looks like. Anywho, I don't know what you call that, but that's what I do. And I just scroll around the map, you know, whatever town I might be in or area or whatever, until I see something that's kind of interesting and then I zoom in on it and, you know, see what it is. <laughs> and that's how I found this one. But anyway, really, really nice peaceful here as of right now it's peaceful it's eight o'clock in the morning um, i've been up a few hours waiting for it to get daylight you know it's getting close to winter time so it takes longer for the sun to wake up but i made my coffee come out here drinking it and listening to the birds now there is a major highway right there but the traffic's not too bad and uh the park or whatever you want to call it i don't really know what this is actually called i'm gonna call it a park but it's set back off of the road far enough that the traffic, you can hear it, but it's just not overbearing, you know. It just don't, just make your ears bleed every time a car goes by. But anywho, that's what I'm doing today. I think I'm going to end this little video here. Not sure how long it is, but knowing me, it's probably 7 hours and 13 minutes. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all coming along. On a beautiful day like today, just get out there and in your town or your town next to you or whatever just get out there and explore it you'd be surprised there's stuff there you probably don't even know about uh i've actually been to this town quite a few times actually a lot to be honest about it and i never knew this was here and i can look at it and tell it's not new they didn't put it here last month it's been here two or three years at least because the pavement the paved walking trail is already getting cracks and stuff in it so it's been here a couple years but anyway, the point of rambling on that part was just get out and explore. It don't cost no money. A little bit of gas, you know. I mean, yeah, gas is high nowadays, but just get out and explore your town. And, uh, and do what I said, you know, like I do. Just get on Google Maps and kind of virtually explore it until you see an area you might be interested in. And then drive over there to that and see what it is. And you don't have to go to the parks. There's lots of stuff to explore. I like exploring. Now, I know a lot of people don't. Won't want to do this it's just something i like but 
I like exploring abandoned buildings. I mean, kind of creepy and kind of neat at the same time. So, but yeah, there's there's tons of stuff to do. You, you know, you don't have to be at a county fair or Disneyland every single day. There's tons of stuff to do. It doesn't cost any money. And it gets you out of the house, gets you moving, gets you out in the nice weather. So just, you know, turn that TV off and get off the couch. Get out there and do something. But anywho, until I see you next time, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. And, and I want to say hello to all my friends and family and, and people I don't know that just... Dropped her phone, accidentally clicked on this video, and yeah. Till I see you next time, God bless you.